In this lesson, we'll be animating our camera and possibly retiming our text reveals if they don't look very good with the camera moves that we decide on. Okay, so let's go ahead and we'll add in our camera. Just come up here, drop in a regular camera and a null object as well. We'll put the camera under the null and call this camera rig. And then we'll go into our camera and take out any rotation that we possibly have. So you're probably getting pretty used to that by now. Um, and let's start in kind of in this lower corner here, just like that. And then for our camera rig, let's change our rotation slightly. Now we're not actually looking through our camera, so it makes it a little bit harder to see how those changes are being affected. So we'll look through that and kind of get that back into position. And let's just go ahead on the camera and we'll set some position keys, go back to the camera rig and let's rotate it. And actually, I think we might have better luck with this camera rig if we place the null right in the middle of our graph. So let's actually stop looking through our camera and we'll jump over to our front view. And I'm just going to switch my coordinate system from object to world. So you can see how that snapped back into place and then we can just place this right in the middle. So that's just going to help us as we're doing those rotations. Then we can snap back over to object, go out of that enable axis and jump back out to our perspective view. Okay, so you can see how now changing those rotations looking through the camera is going to give you a way different look. Okay, so again, make sure we don't have any kind of rotations on our camera and we want to make sure that we're on the first frame too so any thing that you've added later on whether on purpose or accidental you we need to get rid of that so we are kind of later here in the timeline so that we can see kind of where this is starting just like that but we'll want to scrub backwards to the beginning once we decide to change our keys. So our camera's in position. Let's go ahead and key that. And we can just move the key backwards. So I'll select it and we'll pull it back to frame zero. And then we'll grab our camera rig. And let's just kind of rotate this around a little bit. maybe go ahead and key those positions or those rotations then come back to our camera and maybe pull back just a little bit here and we'll write over those now we do want to remember to pull our camera rig keyframe back to the beginning so Right now we're looking kind of like this. So let's say by the time we make it to frame 70, we're pretty much back to normal. So we'll zero out our rotations and then just pull back with our camera like this. And we'll go ahead and set our keys on our camera position and some zeroed out values on our camera rig. Now we may want to do a little bit of some rotation here and maybe this time we're looking kind of down. We may want to move it over a bit. So let's go ahead and write those just by control clicking over the values that we changed. Beautiful. I love how the camera kind of moves along with that portion of the graph. And then let's say right about here, we'll set another keyframe for the camera and camera rig. So right there, 
and there. And then I'm going to grab that one that we have on 70 and take it all the way out to the end. So let's see how that looks. So we're coming through here and then we're just going to start moving much more slowly. Looks like we are getting a little bit of a boomerang, so let's go ahead and fix that. We'll just go into our camera rig because it's definitely, um, or it looks like it could be a little bit of a rotation problem, but also could be part of the camera. So we'll just right click, show our F curves, and sure enough, we are getting some strange kind of above those lines. Um, so I'll hold shift and we'll just kind of smooth that curve but make sure it stays below the dotted line and then this one will do the same so now let's see okay so we fixed any boomeranging any boomeranging we were getting with the rotation let's take a look at our cameras f curves And looks like we have a little bit here as well. So I'll just select that and shift that down. So this one's a little bit harder to see because it's zoomed out sort of far. But you can see now that I'm zoomed in a little bit more. Just have to keep it underneath that dotted line. That's the key. And then on the Z, it looks like we have a little bit there as well. So just selecting it, holding shift to only edit that one side of the curve. Okay, so now let's play it back. Very nice. Now it does look like it almost is getting, it's just f almost flat lining and barely moving at all. So let's maybe just give it a little bit more room that it pulls back away. Maybe not quite that much. Let's actually go into the camera. And instead of using our mouse wheel, we'll just kind of barely do this so it's not quite so far. And we'll just rekey that. Just so it has a little more room to work with. And it looks like it held onto those F curves that we adjusted, so that's nice. So we didn't rewrite a boomerang effect. Very, very nice. Let's also maybe go into our camera rig and push this a little bit further. And we'll just key those. So it's still going to keep moving and giving us a little bit more motion there at the end than we had before. Okay, so we didn't quite have time to re-time any of these animations, but I do think that it would be nicer to be able to see some of those text pieces um, up here, maybe coming down a little bit earlier or a little bit later, kind of once the camera is pulled out a little bit further. But I like the way that the text here follows along so nicely with the camera. It just kind of worked out that way that that is how it's revealed. And I intentionally made it so that these followed along with these. So it kind of goes like in a line along the side. So you can choose to change that or not retime it if you want to. But we do need to retime the title here at the top as well as the legend. So let's come back in the next lesson and we'll retime those two pieces.